Hi, I'm Dan from Real Mac Software, and today I want to take a look at Rapid Weaver Classic. Now, we sometimes get the question from users of Rapid Weaver 8, why should I update to Classic? And we often send them to the release notes page, and that is pretty boring and doesn't really convey all the things that are new in Classic. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a video showing you how I use Classic and kind of the little features that I think are great and that I think a lot of people are overlooked. So even if you're on Classic, I think this video is worth watching because I think you'll learn a, a few little features that are hidden away that you didn't realize existed and should make building websites just that much easier for you. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to show is something I use all the time and that is Page Spotlight. Now Page Spotlight is available up here and this allows you to search for pages very quickly. You just start typing and it filters but I don't often use it from the toolbar. I actually use it from the keyboard shortcut and that is Command Shift F and it just pops up like that and it's ready to start typing. So if I just start typing in there, it filters it down and I can use the arrow keys and then hit return and I jump to the page I want. Now, this is super important when I'm on a laptop because my screen's smaller and I don't wanna see this over the side all the time, especially not when I'm designing pages uh, the sidebar can take up some real estate that's really important. So when I'm here uh, on a laptop, I'll just do Command Shift F and then I'll start typing Rapid Weaver, you know, jump to the classic page, Command Shift F. I want to go to the store page, boom, and let's get back to the squash page. And having this feature just makes working on a laptop so much easier and also even on the desktop, you know, it's just nice to be able to hit Command Shift F boom, and then you can search for what you want and jump straight to that page. It's a great little feature and I think is really overlooked and some people don't even know it's there. So that keyboard shortcut, Command Shift F, super important, use it all the time. Uh, next up, the browser um, preview function. Now this is new in Classic as well. We added this new item to the toolbar and if I click it, it will open up the web page that I'm editing in my chosen default browser but I can long press on this and then pick from all my installed browsers. So I can just pick Google Chrome, boom, and it opens up in Chrome. And this is, this is again, super handy and super quick to be able to just jump to those uh, other browsers to check that everything looks as I want it to. And yeah, and you can change the default in the Rapid Weaver settings. If uh, Chrome, Firefox is your default, that will appear here. Uh, so that's super useful. And the next thing I want to look at is the URL in the inspector. So this, uh, I use this all the time as well, especially when I'm writing new URLs or, or wanting to work out uh, the path for something. And so in here, we get this, uh, it, it writes this out. So if I change this to index one, you'll notice um, that now it's updated this URL and can show me kind of the, you know, that's, it's not just gonna go to the, the folder, um, is now, you know, I, I've added, it's not gonna look for index.html in, in the root folder like it should do because I've added a one to it or something. And if I change that back, boom, it updates the URL. And the same can be done here, like if I wanted a subfolder, I could say squash um, app and then hit, uh, tab and there we go you can see now this page would reside at that url and let's swap this back because that page is not going to be live there we are so i can also click on this to check that that page is there live and online and it is that's great so that's super handy you know just if i'm working on a page and i've just published and i want to go and see it i can just click this and then go and view and we also have this little option here, and that's got the uh, copy URL option in it, which is handy as well. Copy it to the pasteboard and uh, use that all the time. Copy path, and that will copy just the path from the root directory. So it won't include like the HTTP www dot, your domain name. It'll just do it as for this example would be squash, squash forward slash. And this can be really useful when you've got nested uh, URLs. Uh, nested paths, you know, and the final option is page speed insights and this is super handy Just to be able to click it and then go and see uh, How fast your page is now this will check the published page the published URL 
but it's really handy just to have that there and to know you don't have to remember the URL and then and then you have to put in the page URL. You can just click this link in, in Classic. And I, again, I find that super handy when making sure uh, we're, you know, our page speeds are decent and I haven't done anything silly like include massive images. So that's super handy as well. And uh, let's have a look. So another thing I often use is um, in preview mode, let's get my uh, pages back there. In preview mode, we now have this little option down here and this is to toggle dark and light mode. Now, not everyone builds sites that support dark and light mode, but if you do, this is really handy because it allows you just to click this button and see what it would look like in dark mode on someone's Mac, click back and you're in light mode. So this is, again, if you're building these sites that work on um, take advantage of that. This is so, so handy. And you can toggle this with Command Shift A. So just hitting that and it will flip back and forth. And that's really great. And that's just super handy. Uh, so before in eight, you used to have to go and change the whole system from dark to light mode to see this or go and preview it in a browser and look for their dark and light mode tools is a mess. So this is super handy. And we also added, as we're on the subject of dark and light modes, we also added a way to change the user interface. So if you like a light user interface on your Mac, but want RapidWeaver to be dark, you can do that. And there we go. Or you can set it to light, to always be light, or just leave it on automatic and then it will follow the system. So that's a nice little, um, a nice little handy uh, addition. So uh, what else is new? We also added support for PHP 8. And this is, uh, if you've got add-ons uh, like Stacks that supports uh, or that requires PHP 8, now that is required on your server, but if you're previewing it locally, you obviously wanna be able to preview that in PHP 8. So we can do that. Um, let me just put that there for the minute. In, and I'll show you, in settings for your site, uh, I think it's in advanced actually, so in settings for your site, you've now got the PHP version you can choose. So this is for the local preview. So if you've got an add-on that requires PHP 8, you can switch it in here. And now when you preview your site, it will use PHP 8. And this is a huge feature because we actually bundle versions of PHP with RapidWeaver. It used to be part of the system, but um, Apple removed PHP from the system, so it's no longer a default. So we have to compile and bundle it. Um, and it's a, a lot of work to do this, but we've got it in here and you can choose between uh, the versions there to make it super simple. Um, so that's PHP 8. And while, I'm, while we're in these settings, uh, we'll talk about the badge, which I think the badge, everyone knows about the badge in Rapid Weaver Classic, because that's kind of one of those very visual, easy features to see. So that appears down here. Uh, oh, we've got a bit of a bug on that page. Let's, um, so that appears down in the corner here and you can change the settings for it. Now you can just drag in a new image here and um, update the text. So you can say buy now and put in a URL. You've got some alt text there for the icon, which I can put in uh, rapidly there classic if I wanted to and you can set the visibility where whether it should appear on uh, mobile or desktop devices set the color scheme the animation and you can set a delay how long before it slides in so you know this is a nice way just if you if you run a store on your website or something like that it's a nice way to bring attention to it maybe you've got a sale on uh, or maybe you're raising for a charity or you wanna just support a charity, something like that, you can add a little badge that will just slide in and draw attention to it. So it's built in, you don't need to go and uh, buy an add-on for that, you know, it's, it's all there and it's, an, it's a nice little feature. And you can obviously choose to display it or not uh, there. So, and you can see there it's updated. So uh, one of the other things that is really good, especially if you're building a lot of project, is you can now set defaults. And these are project defaults, so every time you create a new project, you can have these settings. So in the general preferences here, I've currently got it set to PHP. So all my new projects, when I start a new project and add a page, it will be PHP. So I don't need to worry about 
switching it to HTML, um, for, uh, from HTML to PHP, I just know that all new projects, by default, they'll be PHP. And this, uh, this is super handy because a lot of the times, um, especially if you're working with something like Total CMS, you know, and you're doing new projects and all your pages are .html and that's annoying. But now your new projects all set up as you want them. So uh, I have mine as PHP, but you can easily change this for all new projects, set it to HTML and there you go. You can also set the uh, PHP version you want to use. Um, I have mine set to eight because that's kind of what a lot of um, hosting companies are now requiring. They've moved to PHP 8 and PHP 7 is, um, they're, they're kind of trying to move people off of that. So that's handy. I have my default site language set to English, but you might be German and you might be building German sites. And why do you want Rapidweaver to always create new projects in English? You don't, you want it set to German. So you can easily change that in here. And Obviously, if you don't want a badge on a new site, uh, you can switch that off and that will always, by default, switch the badge option off. Uh, super handy as well. So yeah, those are the page defaults. Really good and super handy. And you should, if you get classic, you should set those up. Um, so we also added some handy shortcuts. Like now, if you want to just publish a page, this is something, like I said at the beginning of the video, these are things that I use all the time and I find really handy because I'm often making changes, little fixes and changes to pages on the Real Mac site. And if I just want to publish the updates to a particular page, I can just, uh, well, you can right click on there, but I now use um, the keyboard shortcut command control K and that will just publish this single page. Um, really, really handy as well. We've made a lot of changes to the look of RapidWeaver as well. We've tidied up this toolbar. These are all really crisp now and clean, whereas in RapidWeaver 8, it was very busy and the icons were a bit blurry. There was a bit of a bug there, I think, but there's a lot of under the hood changes like this and there are an absolute ton of bug fixes uh, you can go and have a look at the release notes here, Rapid Weaver release notes, and you can see there's just, we've just done a lot of updates and um, a lot of new stuff, you know. Uh, we added some new themes as well. Uh, this was from multi-themes, so Cordalite and Lumalite themes are now in Rapid Weaver Classic, so you get another two themes. Uh, we added some more uh, devices to the device simulator, you know. So there's lots of things in here, lots of things I, I haven't covered because this video is already very long. And the final thing I wanted to just touch on is pricing. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I hear Rapid Weaver is subscription. And yes, it is subscription, but we think we've done a really fair model for that. So basically you can subscribe and you get a year of updates. And if you don't cancel your subscription, you will subscribe for another year, so then you'll get another year of updates. Um, but if you do cancel your subscription, you can still use Rapid Weaver. So you get that year of updates, um, you can cancel your subscription at any time, and then after that, you, you can still use Rapid Weaver. We don't lock you out. You can still use it, it's yours to use. Uh, you just won't receive updates after that year. And it's super easy to manage your subscription. You can buy your upgrade here, and then uh, you can manage your subscription here. So if I click on this page, just enter your email address that you purchased RapidWeaver with, and then you will get uh, sent a link, click on the link, and then you can turn off the auto renewing subscription. Uh, but that's an easy way for you to just upgrade to RapidWeaver Classic, get all the benefits of Classic and not have to worry about that subscription if that is something you're worried about. Um, but you know, we pushing out updates all the time and by being on Classic, you can ensure that it will work on the current macOS Sonoma going forward. So any updates will ensure it works. And also next year's uh, macOS update, you know, which isn't too far away, uh, comes around in June, they'll announce the new uh, version of macOS. And you can relax, 
in and know that your site will be able to work and open in Apple's new operating system. You've got nothing to worry about. We'll update Classic. That's all taken care of um, and you'll get the updates. So yeah, so I hope that gives you a better idea of what's new in Classic if you were on the fence, if you're not sure whether it was worth it and worried about the pricing. I hope that addresses all those concerns. And uh, yeah, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them on the community site. We're always around to help. And, uh, and we're also running weekly uh, office hours. We call them office hours, but uh, it's kind of video support. So if you've got a problem or questions, you can hop on via the community. It's all built into the browser, so you don't need to install anything, and we can help you with your project. So any problems, hop on there, and uh, yeah, we can help you out as well, or answer any questions you've got. All right, uh, that's uh, long enough. It was supposed to be a quick video, but this has gone on quite a long time. But I hope you found it useful, and uh, I will see you soon. All right, thanks for watching this. Cheers, bye.